today I'm going to do a video on my top five eyeshadow palettes that I've been using throughout the year and that I just love and I can't wait to show you. The first eyeshadow palette that we're going to start off with is the Naked 2 Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. Now I actually love this one. I love the packaging. It's a tin case so it's great for traveling. Um, you don't have to worry about the eyeshadows breaking or anything and it comes with a beautiful dual eyeshadow brush. One side is fluffy, one side is really sturdy so it's great for picking up pigment. What I love about the eyeshadow colors is that they come from lightest to darkest so they're your basic colors. Some of them are matte, some of them have shimmer in them. Um, so you have quite a lot of options here and one of my favorites are actually is this one um, but I actually made a mistake with this eyeshadow color what happened was I love to test out eyeshadows to see how they apply on wet and I wet my brush a little bit and I you know dipped it in and now the pigment won't pick up as well as it used to so ladies learn from my mistake but hey who knows maybe after this video naked might come up with the naked three or four I don't know if there is a three already I don't think there is um, maybe they'll come up with a naked three that says wet and dry eyeshadows who knows um, so for the next eyeshadow palette I'm going to show you the Smashbox full exposure full exposure exposure this is it right here it's wonderful packaging has a holographic font to it which is very nice and um, it opens up like this and it has again very similar though to the naked palette um, it has your basic colors um, matte and shimmers and it's it doesn't have any like you know crazy purples blues or pinks it's just your typical basic colors for contouring great for day looks great for evening are the shimmer colors at the top um, you have your browns and then you have a bronzy color um, and then you have this really nice uh, bluish smoky color um, and the pigment is beautiful I'll show you in the swatches what it actually looks like so you have a better idea and this one actually also comes with a dual sided brush and one side is a brush for the shimmer eyeshadows and one side is for the matte shadows um, overall I love this palette it's great um, I don't use it as much as the naked though and I don't travel with it um, but this is a new one that you can grab at Sephora or um, other stores that carry uh, Smashbox products, but it's a great eyeshadow palette. I love it. I'm actually impressed with it. Our next eyeshadow palette that I'm going to show to you is actually something that you can't purchase anymore. And I know it's uh, why am I showing it to you then? Well, it's one of my top five and it's one of my favorites. And unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore or make it anymore. But hopefully after this video, if you give it a thumbs up, we'll get a lot more exposure. <laughs> get it? Exposure? Full, full exposure? Um, more exposure to this video so that maybe um, they will recreate it. But it's you're going to love it. It's by Cargo and it's their catwalk um, palette and it's beautiful. It opens up like a book. It's great. It has um, these magnetic... Um, buttons on the side so it closes very nicely and firmly so it's not flimsy at all um, and it opens up like a book and it has these awesome awesome um, buttons on the inside so these are the eyeshadow colors here and here and I don't know if you can see but they look like buttons and they're really cute and the colors are great um, they're different colors that you know they're not like your basic colors like the other two palettes that I showed to you so you got a really electric blue an electric purple and then like a limish golden green um, and then these are great for evening smoky eyes. I love using them for smoky eyes. And then what I love about the palette in the middle is actually they tell you that this is for the brow bone, for the lid, crease, and for the outer corner, which is which can really come in handy if you know you're a newbie and you don't really know where to put what shades. So this really guides you, which I love. And then you have three blushes on the bottom. Uh, a dusty pink, an apricot color, and then a more bronzy color. And then it also has two bronzers on the bottom. And again, I love the pattern and the detailing on these um, colors. 
And then see here's the um, details of where you can apply A, B, C, and D. So I love this palette and hopefully Cargo you'll come out with something as great as this. Um, this really comes in handy and people just love palettes these days. So hopefully they'll come out with something cool just like this. And that's that. And for my next favorite palette is from a drugstore actually and I know a lot of people are a little bit iffy about eyeshadow palettes that come from drugstores because you're worried about the quality or um, you know just you know worried about the fact that is it cheaper is it gonna be bad um, this eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette isn't that cheap it's um, from Shoppers Drug Mart and it's their Quo brand um, and I love it. It's called their Quo Face Place Face Place Palette. That's a tongue twister. Quo Face Place Palette. And um, I love the colors. I'm actually wearing um, some of them today. I'm wearing the blush. I'm wearing the eyeshadow and uh, a little bit of the bronzy color. Oh wait, this one doesn't have a bronzer, so it wasn't this. It was probably my Smashbox um, contour kit that I have as well. Um, but yeah, great palette. This actually also comes with a brush um, and I love it because it's a sturdy brush so it does pick up pigment very nicely. And um, it again has some wild colors. It has an indigo blue. This one is very nice. I don't know if you can see it. Um, it's a beautiful color. I haven't seen this in a palette before so I actually really enjoy it. Um, and then we have some purples and you know this color actually is great for the inner corner of your eye. Um, it really highlights your eyes and brings them out um, and then you have your typical basic browns but they all have a bit of like a mineral shimmer to them they're not like your naked palette or your Smashbox matte shades um, they have a bit of shimmer in them and then this is the blush that I'm wearing it's a uh, mauvey pink and then you have a bit of a highlighter I'm not too fond of the highlighter it's a little bit um, flaky it does fall off before it even touches your face with which I don't really um, like and then you have some directions here that you can follow if once again you're a newbie and you want to read a little bit more about how to use the colors but that's that that's my quo eyeshadow palette and it's definitely my top fives because I love the color the pigment of the colors and um, the choices that you get in this and I love the packaging very nice great for traveling um, but this isn't one of the ones that I take with me when I travel. Still, Naked 2 is the one that I always, always, always travel with. And now for the next palette. Um, you're going to hate me. But again, it's a palette that we you cannot purchase. It's a limited edition palette. And I adore it. It's also by Cargo Cosmetics. And... Um, you'll see why I adore it. It comes with a lot of eyeshadow colors and it's from their plant love line. I don't know if you remember um, Cargo's plant love line, but, but this is it. Um, it's a wonderful book and it's called the Red Lips Green Conscience, Conscience Book. Um, if you do have sensitive skin, then this is definitely the eyeshadow palette you want to go for But unfortunately, they don't carry the plant love line anymore, but who knows maybe they'll come out with it again Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. The button is somewhere up here I have Someone here with me who wants to say hello Beep say hello. Oh, no, she's not interested, but this is my cat. Oh Toodles